everybody welcome back to my channel I have some empties for you today and I've got some mini reviews on all of these products I have a whole lot of stuff because I wasn't sure if I was going to film this or not. I haven't filmed in a while so but I decided to film today and let's just go ahead and get started okay the first thing I want to start out with is this body lotion from St. Ives it is the naturally soothing oatmeal and shea butter um, there is a lot of different they have a couple different scents of, of this but instead of getting this one again I have purchased the Jergens body lotion it's just really handy to have a pump body lotion sitting on your um, sink countertop in your bathroom and it just makes it much easier and more convenient to put on lotion of the mornings or at night or something like that. But typically I was using this of the mornings and I'm using my Jergens. That's what I'm using as my, my daytime moisturizer. But I don't think I would get this particular one again because I do like the Jergens ones better. But if you're looking for a good affordable body lotion, this is a good option but I am enjoying the Jergens one um, a little bit better. The next thing is a body wash. It is the Soft Soap Fresh and Glow Hydrating Shower Cream. I'm on my third bottle of this. I just finished up my second one this week, but I absolutely love this. This one is in the almond and coconut. And there is another one. It's exfoliating and I think it's like mango or something. But this smells really um, nice and fresh and it's not really a loud scent at all. But I absolutely love this and I do feel like it makes my skin a little bit softer. So I've really been enjoying that. Okay, another body wash is by Caress and it is the Passionate Spell. This smells really good. I really like these Caress body washes as well. There's another one that's called Brown Sugar or something. It smells fabulous. This is also a great body wash, but I think I like the other one, the Soft Soap, just a little bit better. Okay, for a couple of hair products, um, Garnier has come out with a few new um, products for their shampoo and conditioner and this is called the whole blends this one is the hydrating shampoo coconut water and vanilla milk I have several different ones but I really enjoyed this one in the blue container here the coconut water really enjoyed that and also they come out with some um, conditioners like a deep conditioner for your hair this is the hydrating one that goes obviously as you can tell it goes with this because of the blue container and I really did like this I am still using the conditioner of this and but I have got the Garnier I've got this one but it's in a green package it's avocado and olive oil or something like that and I'm liking that one as well so if you want to check out the new line from Garnier I really have been enjoying that and I feel like I'm using like I said I'm using the green one now and I feel like my hair is pretty shiny because this morning I used the mask because I got the mask in this as well in the green packaging and I feel like it is very very hydrating and makes my hair very shiny okay a couple more hair products that I didn't really care for is the shampoo and conditioner from Nexus I've never tried this brand before but it was on sale at Kroger a few months ago and it caught my eye because it was on sale so I picked it up these are like a little bit more expensive than what I would typically spend on my hair but they were nothing special I like the Garnier stuff just as well and it is a lot cheaper so I would not get that again also got some of these q-tips precision precision tips I love to keep these at my makeup vanity I have these all the time okay a little bit of randomness of razor this is the chic razor hydro okay I've never been one to spend 
a whole bunch of money on razors but I picked this up I mean I've had this for a long time and honestly I didn't much care for it it's the blades that you you know you change out and they're like 20 bucks a packet I've just gone back to disposable razors honestly this was nothing amazing for me but I know some people can't use disposable razors because they tear their legs up or whatever but for me they're fine so I wouldn't get that again okay another Garnier mask this is the one that I have talked about a lot in the past in the orange packaging I think that they're still selling this I saw it in my drugstore a few weeks ago so I don't know if they plan to phase these out or if you know the new whole blends is just an addition to the Garnier line I'm not really sure but I think I like these the new ones just a little bit better and something else I meant to say this particular one the coconut water and vanilla milk hydrating mask this consistency of this was uh, much more thin than say this one this was a thicker one and the one I'm using now um, the avocado one is much thicker as well so this one is a thin consistency um, just in case uh, you were wondering so I do enjoy the new whole blends line of Garnier though and another hair mask that not not really a mask but just a deep conditioner that I was using and I've talked about it in one of my older videos is the Pantene three minute miracle these empties are like old because I hadn't I hadn't used this in a while but the Pantene three minute miracle if you are just wanting something kind of quick little deep conditioner in your shower this was pretty good I don't know that I will get that again though because I have been enjoying what I'm using right now and just a shaving cream the skin to mint that's what I have gone back to really like that I'm using that now still and another hair thing is this living proof style lab okay this is the flex shaping hairspray this is uh this brand is sold at sephora and i really did enjoy this this is the smaller size in the three ounce i would like to get the full size of this but it's really expensive like 28 dollars <laughs> but i think you're getting like 12 ounces of product this is a hairspray that does not feel like hairspray in your hair it holds your curl pretty well but it still leaves your hair very touchable like you could still run your fingers through this i went through this a while ago i haven't had this in a few months but i really did enjoy that and i will probably try and pick that up again um whenever um I'm in Sephora or something or if I get an itch for to buy something fancy because that is kind of expensive for me personally on a hair product but anyway I really did enjoy that okay let's see what else we got in here okay I want to talk about these two products this is the it cosmetics CC cream and this is the bare minerals complexion rescue this is a tinted hydrating gel cream from bare minerals okay i've had this cc cream from it cosmetics for a really long time and it's in a pump which is handy i like the packaging on it this product right here is a very popular product and a lot of, a lot of people really like it and for me personally my skin i have normal to oily skin these types of products just do not work for me cc creams bb creams tinted um, moisturizers those types of products are typically for people with more dry skin and i think that is a reason that i do not like these types of products but there are people that wear this right here as their everyday foundation it is very it has great coverage for a cc cream and it also has spf 50 in it which is awesome and 
but for me it just I could wear this for maybe three hours and I look like an oil slick my face gets very shiny with this um so again a very very popular product but for me personally this does not work and like I said the bare minerals this is a tinted hydrating gel cream it's not really a bb or cc cream this has very this has spf 30 and this has very light to little to no coverage if that makes sense um for me again if you have dry skin i think you will like this but for me no this tube is basically full i only used it a couple of times and this was released maybe a year ago i bought this as soon as it came out because i was really excited about it but again these types of products are just a no-go for me so unfortunately i can't i'm just not going to use that and while we're sticking to kind of like foundation things i have a couple of samples in here this is the Lancome Tint Idol Foundation. My shade was 110 Ivory. I really did enjoy this foundation. I've had this probably since like February. <laughs> and I re really like to pick this foundation up in the full size. But maybe it, this is very expensive. It's like 50 something dollars for the full size. But maybe in the future I will be able to pick this up sometime really good uh, medium coverage foundation that lasted really well on my skin and another foundation that has been very very popular lately I got a sample of this as well this is the Clinique uh, I think it's called Beyond Perfect foundation I'll, I'll list it here but this my shade was in something really weird I don't remember it's not it's coated as like the actual shade and I don't know what it is the shade range in this foundation is very strange and I think that's why I didn't like it it's a very thick foundation it's still there's still a lot left in there this was a very thick full coverage matte foundation and I would like to get another shade in this but I probably will not be purchasing this um but another very popular foundation right now if you want something that is really full coverage i have a brow wiz in here and a top anastasia anastasia brow wiz my shade is in taupe this is just the original brow wiz absolutely love this today on my eyebrows i use the brow definer it's the one that's a little bit thicker than this but absolutely love anastasia brow products I love love will continue to repurchase that this stuff has dog hair all over it. Um, this is my Josie Marin Body Butter Whipped Argon Oil Body Butter. And this is in the scent Cucumber Aloe. Love this stuff. Have not purchased this full size yet. Repurchased it. But I do have, just a few weeks ago, I got the a smaller size of this. And because at the time I just didn't want to spend the money on this but I did want to get it again because I absolutely love this stuff it is so fabulous for your legs I, this, I use this as a nighttime moisturizer it's just fabulous absolutely it's worth the money for me and the way that this smells is amazing it's not a scent that lingers with you all day it's just really once you rub it in the scent's kind of gone but if you have a chance to pick up one of these body butters from Josie Marin at Sephora, try them out. They're very, very nice. It's like kind of like a little luxurious product, and it's like a little treat every time you get to put it on. Okay, the next things that I have left are skincare, okay? Now, this is a cleanser from Bare Minerals, the Pur Purifying Facial Cleanser. Okay, Bare Minerals released a new skincare line this year, earlier this year. They did not come out with this particular one, to my knowledge. But I absolutely love this. If you can find it anywhere, maybe at like a um, an outlet mall or something like that. The Purifying Facial Cleanser. I love that. I've 
went through a lot of those but like I said they don't have that particular one anymore they do have a few new ones that I will talk about here in just a second and I'm probably going to do an updated skincare routine here soon just because I'm using these Bare Minerals products and I've really been enjoying those so okay a couple of new cleansers that they have this one is called the Clay Chameleon Transforming Purifying Cleanser. This is in a small size because I got a little kit several months ago. And this one, it's red, but when you rub it in, it turns white. This is not a cleanser that you can take off your eye makeup with. It's just strictly for your face. And I did enjoy this. And I actually, just a few weeks ago, I bought this in the full size. So, this is very nice. But, they have another one that is called the um, Something Foam Cleanser. Purifying Foam Cleanser. It's more... It takes foaming cleanser makes your skin more clean, feel more clean. I mean, it just I will go in with a wipe to take off all of my eye makeup and some of my face makeup, and then I'll go in with the foaming cleanser, and it is super heavy duty. Like it really gets your skin very clean. This one is not as heavy duty, but it's still very nice. I've been keeping it in my shower, and I am enjoying that. And another cleanser from the new line is the Blemish Ready, and it's the acne treatment. This was like a kind of like a gel consistency. It was just clear. Um, okay, I don't know that I would purchase this again. I have not had any active breakouts in several months, and I think it's because of the next product I'm going to talk about. But for me, I don't know that I would repurchase this guy right here. But if you have trouble with acne, give that one a shot. Bare Minerals skincare is really fabulous. I really enjoy it. Okay, this next thing is kind of like the baby of the new skincare line that they launched. And it is the Skin Longevity. It says Vital Power Infusion. Empower, replenish, renew, and fortify. Okay, this is in a pump. And it's in a really nice packaging and i have already got another one of these as well this is kind of like a serum moisturizer kind of like an all-in-one type thing for me personally it's very one thing that i love about this is it makes my skincare routine very simple it is like a serum and a moisturizer in one for me. I'm, I'm not going in after I apply this with another with a moisturizer, with your traditional moisturizer on top of it. This just makes my skin feel really good and balanced, honestly. I don't want to go into too much detail about this, which I kind of, I basically already did. But anyways, this is kind of pricey. It's $48 and you are getting 1.7 ounces but it does last you a few months. And like I said, I really enjoy this. So if you're looking for some new skincare, check out Bare Minerals. They don't put a whole bunch of junk in their stuff. So it's really nice. And really been enjoying that. Okay guys, that's all of the empties. A whole lot of stuff. A bunch of stuff I liked. Just a few things that I didn't like. Oh, shoot. No, there's a couple more things in here. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Marc Jacobs Mascara. I really did enjoy this. This, is, this was called the Noir Mascara or something like that. I really did like that. Okay, another big skincare product that I have been meaning to talk about, but of course I just haven't. This is the Good Jeans treatment from Sunday Riley. It's brightening, refining, and plumping. It says brightens, exfoliates, plump lines, evens, hyperpigmentation, increases circulation for instant radiance. Okay, this, I got this to kind of help with my hyperpigmentation. I have like just some, a little bit of discoloration on my skin. This, I bought this in April at the VIB sale. I think this is the single most expensive item I have ever bought in my life as far as skincare or makeup goes. This was $105. You get one fluid ounce and 
this lasted me about six weeks yeah um i do not have the budget to repurchase this every six weeks i might have the budget to purchase this maybe twice a year but i cannot be buying this every six weeks or whatever so i did like this product but like i said for me personally i don't have the budget for it if you have Okay, my memory card got full, so I don't know where I stopped at. But anyways, this good jeans is very pricey, like I said. Don't know that I will be getting that again. Um, I finished that up in like May, I think. So, just not really sure about that. But it is a nice product if you have the budget for it. So, okay, that is it this time. I know this video is going to be long. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully I can film, start filming again. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.